Sophie and Nandy, both of you have come a long way. Today, you're not only marrying the right person, you also commit to being the right partner, the one with whom the other can stand and face the world. Sophie, I tell you that these words I'm about to say are not just words. They are my attempt to convey to a woman that she's the only thing that I would need in this life. Andy, uh, funny to think that the person I was going to spend the rest of my life with was standing right in front of me for three years before we started dating. Well, I am grateful to realise what a caring, selfless, kind and funny person you are. They always say nice guys finish last, but tonight you both have proven that to be false. Mr. Nice Guy Andy, you've been always been a good friend to me, um, a great friend and an even better partner to Sophie. You're one of the most genuine people I know and I'm so glad that you both have found happiness. And throughout the years, I've witnessed their relationship filled with devotion, loyalty and thoughtfulness towards each other. Where her love is unconditional for him, and he's unwavering and always treasuring her. So Andy, you met the potato time criteria of the one, and damn, that's true love. I'm going to remind you every single day of how beautiful you are, and because your touch upon my skin will always light the darkest parts of my being. You have taught me to be more patient, to enjoy moments as they come, to cherish family and friends, to always challenge myself and always look at life more positively. I am grateful to realise what a caring, selfless, kind and funny person you are and I can't imagine life without you. Because right now I'm about to make the best decision of my life in marrying the only woman that I will ever call home. I love you, Andy, my best friend, my soulmate and you now my husband. Feel so good, baby. Won't you just stop now? Listen to me. I'll be the first to say I'm tired of all the games we play and never been competitive. Um, seeing him passively flow into a relationship and somehow made it into marriage is, you know, quite, quite shocking today. Um, but, um, you know, all I all can say is um, Andy is one lucky man today. Um, he's lucky that Sophie's taking some interest in him um, and he should forever be grateful about that, yeah? I promise to love you forever, even when you're old and wrinkly. And I can't wait to grow old with you in a beautiful home with our 50 adopted dogs. I don't have a sister, but you are the closest thing to one. I'm so happy that you have a new best friend and it brings me great joy to see how happy you make each other and the love between you two. And Andy, I'm so happy that you have found Sophie and you get to share life with my amazing best friend. So to Andy and Sophie, may you always find comfort, strength and endless happiness in each other. May love forever be in your hearts. Tomorrow can bring you the greatest joy, but today is the day that it all starts. I swear I could not very 
very, very last thank you. Um, I'd like to thank my beautiful wife. <laughs> it's going to be, um, I'll enjoy saying that. So, uh, <laughs> thank you for saying yes to marrying me uh, and making me the happiest man alive. <laughs> um, they say that you don't marry someone you um, can't live with, you marry someone you can't live without. So, I think that sums us up perfectly and um, I just sort of wanted to say that I love you very much and um, I can't wait to grow old with you. I don't know what I did to deserve you, but I'm grateful every day that you chose me and I can't wait to spend every day with the love of my life. You make me feel like I'm So today, until forever, I vow to keep my love as pure it is today. Uh, promise to hold your hand every day and just to remember that these words aren't just words, they are my vow to you and Sophie, I love you.